Welcome in streamers. Today I have a very exciting video. I'm redoing my whole stream deck so I thought what better way than to give you guys a setup video for people who have just purchased one uh, coming straight in and then you'll have some fancy information so you can be fancy on your stream. Uh, nice and easy. I'm gonna break it up into chapters guys. It's gonna be nice and easy to follow for you. I love you and I'll see you in a second. So the first thing you're going to want to do with your stream deck is plug it in. Make sure you plug it in first. It's a USB. Just chuck the USB somewhere in your PC. Yeah. And then we need to get some software. So let's do that. Okay. I am over here on the Elgato website. I am going to go ahead and select the product that I have. So you will need to do this as well. I'll leave a link in the description as always. Stream Deck XL for Windows. You just go and smash that blue button there and download and install. Once the software is downloaded and installed, guys, you are going to need to open OBS. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on the scene setup in OBS. Make sure you've got all your scenes ready to go. Uh, that's going to help with linking to your Stream Deck. I like to keep things nice and neat, guys. So I'm going to go to this drop down menu here and go New Profile. And then going to go to Edit Profiles. And we're going to edit profile number two and rename it Twitch Stream. So as you can see up here, it does say Twitch Stream. We're going to go ahead and get started. So the first button I'm going to be adding today is a boot setup button. I want to have all of the programs that I use launch with the press of one button on my stream deck. I'm not going to break down every single thing I add to this button, but I will show you roughly the basics and what I'm going to have set up on mine. The first thing you want to do is right click here and create a multi action button and then click on that button to have access to the internal parts of that button. I run closed captions on my stream, so I want to have that boot straight away. I also run stream loots and I do give out gift packs as rewards. So I do want to have that website running in the background. I want my light setup behind me to boot when I press the button as well. So I'm going to drop in a Philips Hue on off button. So here I've added three system open. So I'm opening OBS, I'm opening my chatbot, and I'm also opening Hue Sync. And I've also added Spotify as well down the bottom here. The next one is nice and easy. I want to add a mute microphone button. So if I do take a break or need to turn off my microphone easily, I can just hit that button and it will mute and unmute. So I'm just going to drop in a mixer audio under the OBS Studio tab, link this to the Twitch profile and put this on to my mic, which is an AT2035. So as you can see, guys, hear what I'm saying. The next thing I want to add is a multimedia buttons to control Spotify. So I want to have a pause and play as well as a skip track. So underneath system, we're just going to drop in multimedia times two, one, two. This one here is going to be play pause. And this one here is going to be next track. Now, obviously being able to change your scenes is probably the biggest convenience of a stream deck. If you've got a stream deck and you do change your scenes with it, you're going to know how amazing and easy it is to have it. What I'm going to do guys is drop in all my scenes that I use. I'm not going to explain every single one. I'm just going to go ahead and drop them all in and set them up. Depending on which OBS you use, I am using OBS Studio. If you use Streamlabs OBS down here, you want to drop in a scene from that one. I'm going to use OBS Studio, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop in a bunch of scenes. If you've never done this before, I do actually have a video on setting up scenes, but just for convenience sake, I'm just going to set up this first one here for you. So I want this one to be my just chatting scene. Collection, which is Twitch, and starting soon, I'm going to have just chatting. The other thing I use on my stream a lot is the Philips Hue lights, which you can see behind me here. I need the ability to be able to turn them on and off. Now Philips Hue has a great function on their sync program where you can have the lights flashing to your music and that sort of thing. So I use that quite often guys. Now I'm going to do a separate video on that because it is advanced. You do need to use a phone app to do it. Uh, as well as link it to your stream deck and OBS as well as your modem as well So I can do an advanced video on that comment down below guys if you would like to see a proper setup video on that For now, I'm just going to drop in the functions and explain what they do So the first one I want to add is an on off button So this button here basically launches the lights and turns them on when I'm finished streaming I want to turn that off as well next I'm going to add a system hotkey in the software for the Philips Hue sync 
I use numpad one to turn the hype lights on and off. So I need to link that as well. I then also want to return the colors to purple. Now, because it doesn't automatically set the brightness to 100%, I am gonna create a multi-action on the purple color. And I'm also going to add in a brightness function. So we're just gonna have that brightness 100, make sure it's linked to the right one. So now when I hit that button, it's essentially going to change the color back to purple and put the brightness to 100%. Now, the next button is an absolutely fantastic idea that another streamer gave me, uh, is to have an emergency button for if you get, uh, you know, trolls or like a troll group that come into your stream. To be able to just click a button and shut down your chat uh, is really, really convenient. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up really quickly. I'm going to right hit click here and go create multi action. We're going to title it 911. Now, inside of that multi-action, I'm going to drop in a clear chat function. I'm going to add a sub only chat as well. And we're going to have the button post a message in the chat as well. So be patient while we take out the trash. So that's just to notify everybody that obviously something's happened in the chat and we need to lock it down momentarily. I'm currently using a wheel spin function on my stream. So when someone subs, it opens up a uh, wheel spin and they get rewarded for subbing. There's different rewards on there. Uh, obviously that needs to go onto my stream deck as well. To do that, I'm going to go to OBS studio and drop in a source button. I am then going to select that down here. Now I also like to have some fun game style music play. So I'm going to add in some audio here. To do that, we go to soundboard and play audio. I am then going to go into the file here and select the correct one. So now when I press that, it's going to play the music. And then of course, uh, everyone likes to have lots of different sound effects and stuff like that on their stream deck too. So play audio will do that. And then you can go and drop in a whole bunch of sound effects. I use my instance for this. I will drop the website in the description for you guys. So you can have a look through and see if there's anything that you like. My name is Jeff. One amazing thing I do recommend is that you drop in a folder. Uh, if you just right click a button and go create folder, you get a whole other page to put sounds and all that sort of thing. So if you didn't know how to do that, there's how you do that one as well. So another one that is super cool is the shout out function. When you get rated, it's super easy just to go and click the button and have an automatic shout out in the chat, thus relieving the mods of the pressure. And uh, yeah, it's just nice and convenient. So with this one, guys, we got, are gonna be using Twitch tools. Now you do need to install that. To do that, you go down to more actions in here, just search Twitch tools and it will show up. So just install that first of all. You're then gonna open this one up here and we're gonna drag in a shout out function. Now you will need to link this uh, add on to your Twitch. So it will open up and give you a bunch of instructions to do that. Follow them closely and it will link perfectly fine. With the shout out button guys, I do recommend that you change it to all viewers. Uh, this is gonna display all the viewers on your stream deck so you can select uh, who you're shouting out. When you click that button, it's gonna show you a list of people who are in your chat. Now, obviously I don't have anyone in there apart from stream elements at the moment, so I'm gonna use that as an example. You hit the shout out button and it's gonna load up a separate page with all the accounts and then you can hit stream elements. And if you look over in the chat there, it's gonna shout out uh, that specific user. And the last thing I'm gonna add today, guys, is two more multifunction buttons. Uh, stream on and stream off. Basically what these are gonna do is a start the stream uh, as well as change my name on Twitter to show that I'm live. And then when I'm finished my stream, you can hit stream off, it stops the stream and it also changes my name back to default on Twitter. So to do that, you wanna right click and drop in two multi-action buttons. I'm then gonna click on stream on and dra drag in this stream button here. I'm then gonna navigate to Twitter and go to change name. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to getemoji.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, you wanna put in your name down here. So I'm gonna use the live emoji like this. Now I use a deer for my branding as that's what my logo is based off of. So I'm gonna drop him in as well. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I just need to go and put in a stream off one. So let's go to the multi-action button here. We're then gonna do a stream stop button 
and another change name tweet. And so that's what I want my name to return to when I'm not streaming anymore. Make sure you test it guys, press the stream on and stream off button. Uh, if you don't want to go live, then obviously just remove the stream live button and just test your Twitter one first and then drop in your stream live one after that. So there you have it guys. Look, so much information, so many ideas there uh, that you can use on your own streams just to have everything nice and tidy and, uh, and convenient for the things that you want to do on your stream. Now, obviously there is thousands of different things you can do with the stream deck and add-ons and all that good stuff as well. Uh, it's just a matter of kind of finding them and figuring it out. Some of them are quite advanced as well. Uh, if you guys would like tutorials like that in the future, if you'd like more advanced tutorials, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, all I want to do is help you guys out and uh, give you that information and as easy as possible. If you like the video guys, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button, that subscribe button, follow me on Twitch and social media, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate the time. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.